All right, guys, we are out and about, and I figured we'd probably go out to some old stomping grounds and and uh, just paddle a little bit, and then we would uh, just camp out and stuff, try to check out some of the old roads and stuff. So we're just kind of moving up here in uh, another little section of the Pier Marquette River. But uh, anyway, now this is a great section for smallmouth in here and some northern pike and that kind of stuff. So, all right, I guess what we'll do is we will uh, we'll go start to look for uh, some spots here and see if we can find a place uh, on the river to do another camp out. Since everything's on lockdown, there isn't much else to do. Um, I've actually been wearing, you know, any store that I go into, and that's going to kind of muffle my, muffle my sound a little bit, but any place I've been going into, I've been uh, wearing a mask and gloves now, um, just because I have a lot of plans this summer and I do not want to get sick, so that's kind of, kind of where I'm at. But, uh, anyway, yeah, the, uh, you know, I think, I don't think people really realize just the diversity in a canoe. If anybody ever gets a chance, watch. I could put it in the description there of uh, Water Walker with uh, Bill Mason. And he's got a couple other uh, uh, videos and stuff. But uh, Bill Mason was just an amazing uh, paddler. And he was always up in the uh, Canadian area up there in um, Lake Superior in the Duluth area, Thunder Bay, up in that kind of uh, um, area. And uh, his daughter ended up being a, an amazing uh, paddler. But uh, Water Walker's amazing. And one, one thing he said is the canoe is probably one of the most diverse and oldest instruments for, you know, navigation. For the, um, all the uh, voy voyagers and stuff doing the, the trapping and stuff going up into the into the uh, Hudson Bay, uh, you know, into that area up there in Canada and trapping and stuff. And uh, it just, uh, it's just a, uh, it's just such a diverse piece of equipment. And I'm looking forward as the weather starts getting better and better here. Uh, um, I want to get this sanded down, get it painted and, and I don't know, I, there may, you know, there's going to be, a, I think, a chance to maybe pick up another canoe, a little better one, but we'll play it by ear, see what we can find and uh, whatnot. But, you know, you can just, you can, you can make a canoe do so many amazing things. You know, you can, you can spin around and, and uh, you know, you can do so many things with it. You know, with a backstroke and, and then a forward stroke, and, and they're just they're just so easy to maneuver, um, especially if it's just you, you know. And uh, I mean, you can do a draw like this and pull it closer to a to shore, or they're just a lot of cool things to do. And as the weather gets better, I'll kind of show you a few uh, paddle strokes that I've just learned by, you know, watching and doing and, you know, taking a, take a canoe out and just start doing that stuff, you know, and before you know it, you get pretty good. But uh, anyway, I'm going to work on down this area here and we'll, uh, we'll take off and uh, see if we can't go find a place to uh, hang out. Well, hey guys, we are out in some great stomping grounds, uh, some of my old stomping grounds that I haven't been out to in a long, long time. So I figured we'd get out here. We got a beautiful day, as you can see. It's blue skies, about 60 degrees out here. Um, this is a nice area to camp. I haven't camped out here in like, my gosh, a long time. I, I and I tell you the truth I don't think I'm gonna get the camp out here as it is um, yeah you can see it's closed up and they won't let you go in there and camp so so much for that um, not all is lost 
we'll go down this way and see just what we can uh, find um, there's a lot of places I mean we'll never we won't have a problem finding a great little place on the little river here a little uh, um, because I know this area so well but we'll go down here a little bit more and and uh, take a peek around and see what's going on made me say hey you know um, this van thing is the way to go or truck and a camp or whatever is we are uh, you know we're out here where we can uh, you can get away you you know if the pandemic is you know nuts and crazy this is where you can go and this is where you can go and hide out uh, I guess this is just kind of a little recreational area where you can stop and walk and hike um, so we're gonna go and move on to another spot just an absolutely this is probably the most beautiful day we've had I mean we are looking at 60 65 degrees we're way over east uh, from where I'm at in Ludington we're way over to uh, probably 40 miles east uh, back in here in the rivers and stuff my dad used to have a cabin over here too he sold his cabin in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and then bought a cabin over here or bought a five acre parcel and we built a cabin on it but uh, yeah so we're gonna go down here and see if we can find another spot well as you can see all my great places are flooded out and in a mess this one I think I can get through we're gonna give it a whirl let's hope like hell we can get through it and it doesn't drop out yeah it seems to be so far I wouldn't go any further um, like down down there here I wouldn't go this way or the other way there's just no way but my other my other little secret spot is back in here so I think we can try and get back in here and see what we got and if we can't we'll just have to get out of here and find another spot well there's wonderful you can see somebody threw the front end of a car oh we're not gonna nope not gonna happen not gonna happen I don't trust that at all without four-wheel drive everything is just so messed up right now yeah I mean I probably could make it but I think I'm gonna try and find another spot I just don't think that's worth tr trying without a winch on the front of this thing and without four-wheel drive so damn off to another spot so the one thing that's kind of crazy up here is one thing that's bizarre is nobody acts like there's anything any going on up here I mean this is a big difference up here than what you guys have in the city I mean there's three cars over here people are fishing every bridge I've come to every place I've come to at the river everybody is uh, you know they're canoeing they're paddling uh, with their drift boats they're fishing steelhead and this is the east branch of uh the manistee river uh it's a beautiful beautiful river it's one of the one of the finest uh little steelhead rivers um but uh you know people are just it's it's crazy it's just you wouldn't think anything's going on you think it's there there ain't nothing any different than uh everyday life it's just you wouldn't even think the coronavirus is even existing around here it's just crazy but uh, as you can see you know you've got lots and lots of rock through here i mean this is a beautiful river and uh anyway i stopped there's a campsite down here but again there's people in there right now and they're fishing and so we're gonna move to another spot which is fine no big deal uh we'll move down to another spot um i got another little another well there's a ton of spots but i got another little secret spot that i know nobody will be at but i mean i have seen more cars uh, around then uh, it's it's unreal people just uh, it's like it don't even exist um, the coronavirus it's crazy um, you know because we're up here we have no we have no cases and the, the sad part is everybody from Detroit Chicago and that run up here to their cabins because they're trying to escape the coronavirus in the city um, as you can see I did paint some more of this uh, gray and I painted some white on here I'm just trying to get this thing 
get rid of the yellow on here and stuff so we can turn around and uh, give it a nice paint job once the weather gets really nice but uh, anyway let's head to our uh, let's head to the next spot so as you can see this is just I mean this is just a mess um, and you know with a van <laughs> that doesn't have really aggressive tires um, and you know it's just like I got to get the hell out of here this is no good I got to get more of a high ground so this is just no good of course I'm you know I'm kind of pushing it out here in this area because the you know the weather has been nothing but rain and of course we're just getting out of winter and whatnot but uh, it said closed at the end at the first part of it but I knew I only had to go a mile to make the uh, turn to go into into uh, the area where I wanted to go that got into the river so well god damn it this is like the fifth spot that I've tried to get into and this is what I run into and I just walked out there it's over my boots I I'm not going through that not without a four-wheel drive so we're off to another spot that's all we can do